In this nugget, we're going to look at reflection. Reflection is when a wave rebounds off a surface. Let's look at light reflecting off the mirror. Light travels towards the mirror and then reflects off the surface rather than traveling through. Let's think about angles. We measure angles from an imaginary perpendicular line that comes out of the mirror where the light is incident. This line here. We call this the normal. It may seem odd to measure angles from here rather than from the surface of the mirror, but it will make sense when we start looking at curved mirrors. So this is our angle of instance, from the ray to the normal, and this is our angle of reflection. But how do they compare? So our angle of instance is 54 degrees, and our angle of reflection was also 54 degrees. So the angle of instance equals the angle of reflection. Now let's look at a curved mirror. Mirrors are represented by lines with dashes. The dashes are on the non-reflective side of the mirror. Let's shine some light on it. Now we'll draw our normal, and the angle of instance equals angle of reflection, and off it goes. The normal becomes necessary here because it would be impossible to measure angles on bumpy or curved surfaces. Using the normal means our law of reflection is always true. As you can see, this mirror is reflecting all the light through one point. We call this point the focus. This is called a converging or concave mirror. Concave mirrors are used to focus rays, such as in a satellite dish, focusing EM waves onto an antenna. Now let's look at a convex mirror. This time the rays are not being reflected to a point. They are spread out or diverging. If we extend these reflected rays back using dotted lines to show that they're not real, they're virtual, and the light isn't really doing this, there's no light actually behind the mirror, we end up with this focal point behind the mirror. When light is reflected off a convex mirror, it's as if it's traveled from an imaginary focus behind the mirror. Convex mirrors are used to give us wide angle views, such as in car wing mirrors. To summarize, the law of reflection states that the angle of instance equals the angle of reflection, as long as we measure our angles between the ray and the normal. And our keywords, reflection, when a wave rebounds off a surface, converging or convergent, when all the waves travel to a point, diverging or divergent, when all the waves travel away from a point, angle of instance, the angle between the instant ray and the normal, angle of reflection, the angle between the reflected ray and the normal, and normal, the imaginary line perpendicular to the surface of the mirror.